ISP TV for Monday, October 21st. I'm your host, Jake McCabe, alongside Max Kratoff. We have another big show this week as the PCL playoffs get underway for a few of our teams. The freshmen leave to serve, but first, let's get started with the Honors Convocation. Over 300 students received the Scholastic L Award Thursday evening in front of a packed gymnasium. Brother James Butler addressed those in attendance. So much information, so many competing demands, so many conflicting analyses. Things like these are coming at us so fast in the 21st century. So, I suggest one of the best skills you can develop is how to get the gist of things, how to understand the essentials sufficiently that you exude familiarity and avoid the pitfalls of ignorance. Should truth be told, that's how you become the CEO of a venerable 160-year-old institution like LaSalle. Get the gist of a great many things and surround yourself with people who have tremendous expertise in one individual thing. So, looking forward to life after LaSalle, I'd recommend that you get the gist of being an intellectual. It's not being pedantic, elitist, or condescending. It's being convinced that useful answers to perplexing questions are out there, answers you can find through a combination of curiosity and discipline traits that are not so contradictory as you may have been led to believe. Get the gist of being a leader. And that's surely neither about doing great things yourself nor compelling others to do your things the way you want it done. It's about how you motivate, inspire, or nudge others to think about what we're doing so that task gives way to mission, job becomes vocation, and they do great things all around you creating a culture that's extraordinary, maintained by people who've forgotten that they're really quite ordinary. Third, get the gist of the gospel. I think it all comes down to two verses, one in John 10. I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And one in Matthew 25. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, that you do unto me. Together, they reveal the gist of faith, a trust in God's plan for us that enables us to live his love into the lives of others. Finally, get the gist of LaSalle, a school that gives you extraordinary freedom to try out becoming who you want to be by simultaneously making extraordinary demands on you, requiring that you become the best and highest version of yourself committed to lifting your brothers along their own paths. It's an experience that lasts just four quick years, but paradoxically, it's only gonna be after about 50 years more, long after the water has come, that we'll actually know how well you got the gist of it. God bless you throughout your time here at LaSalle, and always, gentlemen. Our annual Spread the Warmth clothing drive kicks off today. Collection bins will be located outside the main office. With more, here's Jake DeLuca with members of the ministry and service team. Hey guys, Jake DeLuca here back in the WXP studio with some guys in the ministry and service team. Uh, we have Gavin McDade and Matt Curran here to talk about next week's clothing drive. So uh, guys, what's this clothing drive all about? Hey guys, uh, the drive is October 21st to the 25th. And all the clothes donated goes to Homeless Outreach. What Homeless Outreach is, is a service opportunity here at LaSalle where a group of juniors and seniors take part in it. And we go down into Philly and we bring a hot meal and clean clothes to the people who show up and need it. Um, and as the colder months near, it is important that we keep on getting donations and new clothes to keep them safe and warm. So what we're looking for is just some new socks, new underwear, uh, sweatshirts, sweatpants, gloves, hats, and some blankets. Um, only the socks and underwear have to be brand new. Um, everything's got to be clean though. No t-shirts, no shorts, uh, no small or medium sizes either, large or bigger. Um, donations will be outside the main office. We talked about how this impacts the people you guys are actually serving, but how has this impacted you guys in the LaSalle community as a whole? It's had the impact on me of 
really humbling me and uh, making me more grateful for what I have and what my parents have provided me here and be able to go to such a nice school and be around all my friends. So uh, like the boys said, the uh, clothing drive is next week, October 21st to the 25th. And uh, you guys will see the bins outside the main office. So just come in, drop your stuff off, and uh, help contribute to this great cause. Thanks, boys, for uh, coming down to the studio. Yeah, for having us. All right, back to the desk. Finally, today, we have got a lot of things coming up this week. The Fall One Acts will be held on Friday and Saturday in the auditorium. Admission is free. Congratulations to the cross-country team for winning the PCL championship on Saturday. Next up is the state champs. The varsity soccer team moves on to the PCL semifinals on Wednesday night. 